Happy Imbolc, Candlemas, or Bridget's Day, however you celebrate this holiday. If you aren't celebrating it as a spiritual holiday, then happy halfway point to spring. We're going to start off this meditation by connecting to our breath. Don't worry about changing it. Just observe your breath. Allow it to ground you and center you in your energy. Everything goes through the cycle of death and rebirth. We experience this cycle every year through the changing seasons. Winter is symbolic of death. During winter, the flowers and crops die, the trees are bare, and animals have migrated or gone into hibernation. Even humans go into a hibernation of sorts. During the cold, dark months of winter, most of us turn inward. Creativity and energy feel lacking, and many of us must face darkness within. Spring symbolizes rebirth. In early spring, Mother Earth starts to come alive again. The tulips bloom, the trees grow new leaves, the grass turns green again. Animals are starting to come out and about. and people are beginning to plan their upcoming gardens. Spring is an energetic rebirth for us. It can feel like a breath of fresh air after the long cold winter months like we are coming alive again. We often feel creative energy coming back to us, as well as physical energy and mental well-being. Right now, we are halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. Spring is on its way, but for most of us, it isn't quite here yet. This halfway point is an amazing place to stop and give thanks to the winter behind us. Give thanks to the pause that winter offers. 
give thanks to the reminder that all things change and eventually end. And give thanks to winter for clearing the old to make way for the new. This time is also perfect to start planning for the coming spring. For most of us, New Year's was over a month ago. But spring is the energetic New Year. Now is the time to refocus ourselves on the goals that we have made for this year. It is time to decide what we want to focus on and cultivate this coming year and to make a plan to make it happen. Spring is the time of fertility for the land, animals, and creativity. Now is also the perfect time to start planning your garden for the year. Having a garden connects us to the earth, to the cycles of Mother Nature. In the spring, we get to plant and watch as new life begins to grow. It's time to decide. Are you going to have a garden? If so, what are you going to plant? Where are you going to plant? If you aren't going to have a garden, what are you going to grow energetically? What are you going to grow in your life? What practices and mindsets are you going to grow this coming spring? As this meditation comes to a close, take a moment to thank the winter for the energetic pause and to give thanks to the spring blessings that are on their way. Call this gratitude into your heart center.
take as much time as you want before coming back. But when you are ready to come back from this meditation, start by bringing awareness back to your body and your surroundings. Start by wiggling your fingers and your toes, feeling the surface beneath you and the atmosphere around you. When you are ready, open your eyes and return to your day and have a joyous embolk.